Scorpio, this is your reading for May. Well, let's focus on your reading. And this is mid-month reading. Okay, for Leo. Oh my gosh. Okay, a card just flew out. So I'm going to start from here. And it flew out this way. Oh my gosh, wow, what a way to start. The Ten of Swords. Okay, so I'm going to put that up here. The Page of Pentacles. The Six of Pentacles. The Ace of Wands. And the Hierophant. Wow. Okay, so let me move this so you can see this. All right. All right, Leo. So we have uh, the major arcana is, of course, the Hierophant, which represents Taurus. So I'm being led to say Taurus and Libra may have some meaning for you. And then also with Taurus, we've got the Page of Pentacles, which is the court card. And, you know, this can be, in, well, it's indicative of a lot of things. It can represent a person, an earth sign, um, but it can also represent the energies or the personality of this type of person. And it may be what you're dealing with. So it doesn't necessarily have to be a person. It can be representative of the earth sign within you. Um, but the other signs that are besides Taurus are Virgo and Capricorn. And what I'm getting here is with the Ten of Swords, obviously there has been an ending of some kind. feel like something has ended, and it's interesting with the Ace of Wands, so that something new can begin. Now, this may be a loss of somebody. This may also be the breakup or the ending of something. But I feel that, you know, when I look at this gold here, when you look at the gold, it's always darkest before the dawn and dawn is breaking. And I look at this gold and see how it expands. So either somebody is coming into your life that could be an earth sign or that you are recovering from this situation. I'm also getting self-sabotage. So maybe there's some self-sabotage or something like that that has been going on. But I feel that this is a, a new beginning. So for example, maybe somebody has lost their job. And I feel like you're debating on what path you want to go on. For some of you, this may be the loss of a person, as I said, and there's some bereavement going on. For others, I feel like it's a loss or an ending of a relationship. There could be a situation regarding an earth sign coming into your life in May. But... I, I get the word development. So I feel like you are starting or developing something new. This could definitely even be like you are manifesting or creating a new opportunity for yourself. So this could be that you are starting your own business. It also, I feel like, may represent you going back to school I also get a lot of spirituality. So some of you may be finding comfort in a very spiritual way. But there may be issues where maybe you felt kind of stabbed in the back, like you didn't see something coming. So you might be on the end, other end of it. You may be feeling like this, where there's kind of somebody has uh, betrayed you or you felt defeated. And I'm being led to say, don't give up just yet. Feel like there's something promising coming. And if you're feeling down here, I feel like you're going to be moving up here. 
there's an opportunity of something new developing, like you're planting the seeds. Uh, this could be a fire sign that also comes in, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. And I feel like um, for some of you, you're going to learn or see things from a whole different perspective than what you've seen. So I'm getting something like some of you may be creating like a nonprofit organization or by giving to others, I feel as if you are giving to yourself. You're going to be learning a lot. And I think some of you may even be considering a field in the legal realm. So this could be as paralegal, going to law school, um, being a stenographer, could even be anything in the legal realm, compliance. Uh, I'm getting like acquisitions and mergers. So maybe you got laid off from a situation uh, and there's, uh, you know, or maybe your department has shut down and you are going into a new department or a new way of seeing things, a new way of learning things. So maybe you're used to being in a position up here and you may be in a different position, but I feel like whatever this is, it's going to go like you're going to learn and grow very fast. And um, there's a, a lot of knowledge to be gained. So I feel like this is something positive. This is, um, I think part of it is, you know, what you tell yourself, how you talk to yourself and seeing the, the, the golden opportunity, the light in the situation, I think is going to be very important. And can lead to bigger things that maybe, um, like I said, if you're feeling kind of down here, I feel like you may, there's, I get like there's a possibility of a promotion or moving up some way. Now, for some of you, I do feel like this could be, uh, besides work, this could definitely be in terms of money. You know, that maybe you feel like you've lost a lot financially, but there's a feeling to kind of start over. But I feel like uh, things are going to get back in balance. And for others of you, I, I get the feeling that this is love, once again, love related. And... Somebody is waiting for something maybe even legally to be finished, like a divorce or a separation or child support, child custody, so that you can move on. It's kind of, uh, you know, dealing with the, the legal paperwork. Now, this may be indicative of an actual physical move that some of you are actually moving. But I feel it more on a spiritual level is how it's coming across to me. And so some of you, I definitely feel like you have a choice to make in what direction you want to go in. Uh, where do you, you know, where does your passion lie? Is it in, you know, being, um, Get something about teaching or coaching, maybe spiritual coaching, but feel like there's an opportunity for you. Feel like you're going to be moving up the ladder or maybe for some of you, this is the corporate ladder, but moving up um, in terms of finances I feel like are going to be increasing and, or at least there's the opportunity for something to, that you're creating that is in development or in the works, as long as you allow that to happen, you know, 
there's always free will involved here. So, but you know, and some of you may be, um, through, I guess this is like an organization because I'm kind of getting like the chamber of Comber or, or sorry, the chamber of commerce, or like there may be groups of people that might be able to help you start your beginning. And some of you, I feel like it's also, you know, where maybe you've been looking for a loan, whether it is a loan on a house or a loan on a business. Uh, I feel like by possibly going for like nonprofit or there may be grants or something out there that might be able to help you get started. So, and back to love again, I do feel like you have a choice. For some of you, I feel like, you know, one thing as one door closes, another one opens. So I feel like there's the opportunity for love that may be coming in especially during Taurus, uh, which obviously is May. It starts at the end of April, but goes into May, and this is the number five. So there's a lot of changes going on for you. And I think that in, in a lot of ways, it can be positive. So, uh, but yeah, there's... Something also has to end so that something new begins. So I'm hearing kind of finish what you started. You know, don't just rush into something. Take it slowly. And um, I feel like you're going through different stages. And maybe stages of development or there's some kind of progression that is happening and it'll happen at its own pace. Like, you know, savor the moment, enjoy the moments. Um, don't rush is what I'm getting, if that makes sense. So, yeah, I, I just get the feeling of be careful of self-sabotaging or being self-defeating. And... um because I feel like there may be something in terms of discovery. The word discovery. I feel like where maybe you've been in the dark, things will come to light. And that's important. So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Bye.